I'm uh, Dr. William W. Parmley, and uh, my career has been in uh, cardiology. I was uh, fortunate to uh, graduate from Harvard College, do well there, and then Johns Hopkins Medical School. When I was uh, trying to figure out what to do with my life as a student at uh, Harvard, uh, I had two roommates who were going into medicine and I think they talked me into it. But more importantly, my father almost died uh, during one summer while I was in college and was saved by a very skilled surgeon. Uh, that impressed me and I thought uh, medicine had a lot to uh, offer. My father died at age 99, so obviously he got a lot of mileage out of what that physician uh, did for him. I was impressed. I think one of the most significant moments for me was after a year of internship and internal medicine at Johns Hopkins. I applied for and uh, received a, a fellowship at the National Heart Institute in Bethesda, Maryland. And that was two years full of mostly research, but also some patient care. There were some wonderful researchers there at that time. Uh, Gene Braunwald, Ed Sonnenblick, and a whole group of them. And uh, they really encouraged me to go into the uh, research area of cardiology. My dad was a uh, professor of physics at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. And he was a great teacher and a great man. And so uh, I think it was his encouragement that got me to consider physics. And then after that, uh, I decided uh, medicine would be better for me. I think the uh, most important thing our group uh, did, uh, and uh, that would include me as the head of the group, uh, was to uh, really work out a new form of therapy for heart failure. Uh, in the past, when the heart fails, it pumps less blood and the blood pressure goes down. And standard thinking was, well, if the blood pressure is going down, maybe we better give a drug that constricts blood vessels, and that will be helpful in uh, raising the blood pressure. Well, it turns out that if you do that, uh, you're just making it even harder for the heart to pump. And the correct therapy is so-called vasodilator therapy. And uh, our group and other groups uh, worked that out in a way that made it uh, the standard therapy now is our vasodilator drugs for the treatment of heart failure. The mortality rate goes down if you put people on that therapy. After uh, retiring, uh, I spent, uh, my wife and I spent uh, 10 years uh, full-time volunteers for the church. It's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And uh, five of these years were in Africa. And so we had uh, great experiences doing uh, humanitarian things in uh, people in Africa. Maybe mention one. Uh, a measles project, which is certainly timely in today's uh, measles epidemic, which is uh, going around the uh, world, literally. Uh, our church, together with other organizations, put together programs where the uh, children in countries who had never been immunized against anything received measles vaccine. And you say, well, is measles that important? Uh, measles kills a lot of children every year in Africa. Plus, it gives others high fevers that cause brain damage. So if you can reduce the number of uh, infected children with measles, you can do a wonderful beneficial thing. As an example, uh, mortality rate went down 90% in the countries where we were able to do these vaccinations compared to what it used to be. A lot of personal achievements were uh, in the church. Uh, for 10 years, we served uh, in a number of different capacities uh, around the world, but always in an attempt to uh, help those with whom we uh, worked. So those are not glamorous things, but providing clean water, for example, to uh, thousands of people uh, through our various water projects. Wow, is that a good thing to do? 
because indeed uh, you get rid of many of the diseases that are carried in their muddy, dirty, filthy water. If, uh, if I had to pick a word that would uh, capture my uh, professional thinking, uh, I'm going to take two words if they're cheap. <laughs> and scientifically curious. Uh, my whole uh, career I have really been interested in learning how things work, uh, trying to make them better, uh, training our cardiology fellows to think the same way so that they make things better. So uh, curiosity is certainly part of my scientific uh, background. My father was my personal inspiration for uh, considering a, a uh, career in science. Uh, such a wonderful physicist uh, and a wonderful man. I couldn't do better than emulate uh, him. Well, I hope it's uh, the family and grandkids too. We have uh, 11 grandchildren now. Uh, four children and uh, we love to get together and I hope that's they're the ones who will think uh, they're taking some legacy from grandpa and doing something worthwhile and I, I think they will they're doing very well right now our oldest boy is an internist so he's in medicine uh, our second son is uh, a, an attorney but he's a good attorney He's an assistant U.S. attorney for uh, San Diego. And our uh, third son uh, is in real estate in uh, Manhattan, New York. And then our daughter uh, is married and has four wonderful children. So it's a great family. And uh, we get together once a year to uh, celebrate uh, our love for each other. One of the lessons that uh, I learned about is uh, hard work. And uh, I think I can illustrate that by saying when I graduated from East High School in Salt Lake City, Utah and went up against uh, the freshman class at Harvard, most of whom had been to uh, prep schools, Andover, Exeter and other schools, I was behind the game. It was clearly I was about a year behind them. And uh, so I just really worked my tail off. I worked so hard you cannot believe how hard I worked. And at uh, one year, yes, I caught them and I <laughs> passed them and uh, went on uh, to uh, graduate summa cum laude with highest honors in physics at Harvard and also uh, received Phi Beta Kappa for the same thing. So you always should pre prepare to work hard, I think would be one of the <laughs> most important lessons I could pass on to them. My wife is a saint and <laughs> she's a wonderful woman and uh, she has been an incredible uh, benefit and stimulus for my uh, career. She's always been there at my side and in her own right has done extremely well. She uh, has a uh, bead business so to speak. That is, we collected a lot of African beads and she's making bracelets and necklaces and other sorts of things uh, and selling them. She just loves to do it as a hobby, but uh, she is really talented. On a more personal note, uh, my wife has had breast cancer. Um, she's been through all of the uh, modes of treatment and it's been 16 years since uh, we discovered that and she's doing great. She appears to be a uh, cure, although you never know for sure, but uh, 16 years out and counting. If we go way back when I was a young boy, our private our physician uh, who made house calls in those days uh, inspired such confidence, I wanted to be like him. He was outgoing, he was friendly, but he was positive, he was encouraging. He knew he could correct whatever was wrong with us. And uh, there weren't a lot of medicines around sometimes to uh, actually do that. But boy, he sure gave us confidence. I, I thought that was a trait, a personality trait that I hoped I could have in caring for patients. I 
would like to be uh, remembered, I guess, as a, someone who really loved their family and uh, really loved and was very active in the church. And that meant a lot uh, to me uh, personally. Um, if uh, those things are remembered, uh, I couldn't pass on anything better, I think, to my uh, grandchildren than that.